For tonight, 10 News is learning an employee at the Knox County Sheriff's Office accused of impersonating a law enforcement officer resigned. Records obtained by our 10 investigative team reveal Ray Vineyard made a traffic stop using an unmarked county vehicle, something his job at the Sheriff's Office did not give him power to do. There was nothing that would have indicated to me that it was an officer. It was really weird and freaky and everything about the interaction felt very wrong. Vineyard worked at the Knox County Sheriff's Office as a court services assistant supervisor. 10 News anchor Raya Katene spoke to the woman pulled over, calling this case an egregious abuse of power. She fears for her safety, and for that reason, we aren't using her name in this report. Despite newly installed security cameras at her home and efforts to stay vigilant, an Ox County woman we are referring to as SC says she doesn't feel safe because of what happened five weeks ago. It was a really scary situation. According to records obtained by 10 News from the Knox County Sheriff's Office, SC was pulled over October 7th on Thorn Grove Pike by a man she says was wearing a blue polo and khakis, carrying a gun and badge on his hip and a radio in hand. During an interview with an investigating officer, SC describes what happened after the man pulled in front of her and blocked her car. I was getting more irritated and agitated and telling me that I need to be careful, which sounded like a threat. SC says the man wouldn't share his name, but eventually showed her a card with a hole punched in the corner. She couldn't see the card clearly through her window, but did see something else. I could very plainly see the gun on his hip. And can you? That, that was, that's also why it was really scary. He eventually backed away and quickly drove off, but pictures SC snapped that night reveal the man was Ray Vineyard, a Knox County Sheriff civilian employee with no law enforcement powers living in SC's neighborhood. We are in the Office of Professional Standards interview room. And this is the interview of Ray Vineyard. In an interview with Internal Affairs, Vineyard initially said he activated his blue lights and pulled SC over because she ran a stop sign and then brake checked him. But notes written by the investigating officer show there were numerous discrepancies throughout Vineyard's interview. And prior to this incident, records show that Vineyard was previously ordered by Chief Deputy Bernie Lyon to not perform traffic stops. Do you think that your actions on the 7th or on Saturday have kind of brought discredit upon the sheriff's office and the sheriff? I would think yes. I ain't got nothing to lie about. I'll say it like it is. The internal investigation found that Vineyard broke multiple KCSO codes of conduct and violated the law when he performed a traffic stop he had no authority to conduct, including asking for SC's driver's license. On October 25th, Vineyard submitted this letter of resignation, stating he's retiring from the sheriff's office. And as for SC, I've had to change plans. Feelings of unease and distress. I've ordered cameras. Still linger. This afternoon, we heard from Sheriff Tom Spangler. In a statement, he is expressing disappointment. The sheriff says after taking a complaint, his office did open an investigation. The sheriff says the evidence was clear and demanded swift action. Now we reached out to the now former sheriff's office worker, but we have yet to hear back. Re records show he worked as a civilian employee in that office for almost 20 years. All right.